Hi everyone, this is Jay from Interview Query and from the Data Science Jay YouTube channel. And today I am going over machine learning and modeling interview questions. And essentially, what is the difference between the two? What are the different kinds of machine learning interview questions that you'll see? And how much do you actually need to study up and know? And so let's actually tackle that last part first. How much machine learning do you actually need to know for the interview, right? This is a kind of a tricky concept, right? And it definitely depends on what kind of role that you're interested in. There is an endless amount of machine learning knowledge out there. You will never ever finish reading if you had to read them all. And essentially, I think that's the biggest problem that I've seen most candidates kind of deal with is that they feel like that there's so much knowledge out there, they don't even know where to begin to start and study. And so I would say that it doesn't actually have to be every single thing that you have to learn, like infinitely, right? Machine learning in an interview is actually completely different from how it's actually framed in real practice. And it's definitely gonna depend on what kind of a role you're interested in. So if you're interested in more of a data science analytics or a general data science role, right, where you're doing a little bit of everything in data, the amount of machine learning that you have to know is more about applied machine learning, right? It's then about like, okay, if you're given a business problem, how can you apply machine learning to it to get the desired result, right? What are like the kind of baseline things that you need to know, right? The baseline models, right? The random forest, linear regression, classification, supervised learning, unsupervised learning and then there's like general metrics that you have to understand right precision versus recall ROC curves classification metrics all, all those things are kind of just general baseline applied machine learning that you kind of have to know because they're within the realm of data science itself if you're applying for more technical roles though so more machine learning engineer heavy maybe more like research scientist heavy then that's actually where you get into more of the complicated i think advanced theory that deals with uh, potentially neural networks deep learning and i think just more in-depth uh, kind of knowledge on your experience and so being able to explain your experience very well within having this knowledge within machine learning Theory is definitely more of a practical asset and something that you need to practice versus actually like reading up on all the current papers of our time. And so it's not really a solidified answer, but it definitely varies from interview to interview. So given that, I would say, what are the types of machine learning interview questions that we'll see on day to day? And I'd say that for the most part, there are generally, I think, four to five different types of machine learning interview questions. The most common one that I've seen is a modeling case study. And so this is more of the modeling portion of the machine learning interview. In the modeling case study, uh, generally what happens is they'll give you like a question such as, describe how you would build a model to predict Uber ETAs after a rider requests a ride. And so they'll give you a question like that and then you'll basically have to go through and walk through how you would build that model and all the different kinds of steps that you would take. Because it is a case study, many times you have to apply like a common framework to the problem like you would to any other sort of business case study problem. These are steps such as like clarifying a question, understanding the nuances of the problem. Is this a new model being deployed or is this improving an existing one? And then going through the features, what kind of model selection you would use, and then what kind of classification metrics you would also pick up and utilize the most and how would you actually end up rolling it out so essentially key studies are mostly overarching they talk about the whole fundamental uh, process of machine learning and it's good to practice those in a setting with a mock interviewer or understand the framework that you should use when you're actually approaching these types of problems as well next are questions around recommendation engines and search engines so these are questions that are technically under the modeling case study but they're asked so frequently that it's definitely important to conceptualize them on your own. So this is just understanding like how recommendation engines work, how search engines work, and essentially what kind of metrics are used to measure both as they are very similar. And then also just how you would build one from scratch and what kind of data you would need. The next type of question is a more of a machine learning algorithm conceptual question. So these are definitely digging more into just how these machine learning models are built and what's actually underneath the hood. So common questions are like figuring out the differences between, uh, let's say like a support vector machine model and a gradient boosting trees model, or understanding how do they actually generate the trees for random forest. So this is definitely more of the technical side where you just have to study 
and remember uh, a lot of these definitions and understand how they're actually used. The last kind of machine learning interview question is on modeling scenarios. And I use this to actually describe this title to describe uh, questions that are actually around a certain situation and how a candidate could explain how machine learning could be used to fix the problem. For example, you're given a model with 90% accuracy, should you deploy it or not? And so you're kind of given a scenario and it prompts you to be able to ask you what would you do given the scenario and given this, your machine learning background. And so it's kind of testing the knowledge that you have in terms of applying machine learning to real life industry experience. And so this kind of uh, question definitely filters out people that don't have that much experience within industry and using machine learning. And so it's good to practice and understand the different kinds of situations where modeling and machine learning is used and the nuances between, you know, trade-offs between business decisions and model accuracy and how you might relate machine learning models to different kinds of stakeholders. That's kind of all that I have today for this video. If you wanna learn more, we're releasing our interview query data science course that will cover machine learning and a host of other topics that I've talked about, SQL, Python, product, A-B testing, statistics. So go ahead and check that out. It should be out this week or next week whenever this video is released. And so I'll send a link to it on the YouTube channel below. So uh, please check it out. If you wanna hear more, you can always add a comment, like, and subscribe. Bye everyone.